I'm Ed Beach. I'm the lead designer for Firaxis Games on Civilization VI. So what are you guys showing you here with Civilization VI? Civilization VI has a bunch of brand new systems, and we also have some systems that we've taken from previous games and shaken them up and cast them into entirely different uh, lights so that there's a lot of new gameplay. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things that people uh, who are familiar with the series are going to find working very differently, and so we're excited to be um, letting everyone have a chance to play through the first 60 turns of the game. So what are some of the major changes you've made from Civ V to Civ VI that players will notice? The biggest one is what we've done with cities. So cities are unstacked now, which means that all the content that previously had been created when you built things in your city, your buildings and your wonders, uh, you had to go into a menu in the game and open up your city and then scroll through that menu to see everything uh, that you had created there. That's now visible right out in the 3D world. Everything is out there on one of the tiles of the map for you to see. So. For instance, the way that works is if you want to specialize your city in science, what you're going to do is build one of our campus districts, which is a tile dedicated to just holding scientific buildings. So your library, your university, your research lab will be out there on the tile. And that's exciting. You can see that you're doing that with your city. You can remember which of your cities you've customized that way. And you don't have to dig through a menu to try to find that. You guys are also changing how builders operate in the new Civ 6. Yes, we want to make the decisions that you have about your use of every single tile to be important. We don't want uh, an automated system where the game chooses where your improvement could go. We want players to be thinking about that. So we have we've changed it up. Workers no longer exist. They're called builders now. And the builders have a certain number of charges which allows them to go to a tile and instantly build an improvement there. So that, that's very helpful when you're planning out your city, you're trying to figure out the layout of your city. You don't want to have to wait eight turns for that builder to finish his job like in previous games. I would always have problems where I'd like forget what I was doing once he had finally finished it. So that immediacy is great. Um, it's also really good to have builders with charges because then you don't have lulls in the middle of the game where you have workers sitting around with nothing to do. You actually just build the workers, the builders that you need, and they get the job done, you know, right when you need them to. How has community feedback from Civ Five and Beyond Earth helped you make Civilization VI a better game? We look at the community forums, uh, you know, all the time, and I worked a lot on the Gods and Kings and Brave New Worlds expansion, so. You know, that's going back three, four years uh, that we've kind of had a constant monitoring of what's going on on the forums. One thing that we noticed was that Civ V, although it was a great game and very, very well received and beloved by its fans, we found that there were some areas of the game that we had built that just didn't get used by players. There were dominant strategies, um, social policy trees that people uh, were, so would see on the forums that they should avoid. And so people would tend to get into sort of a rut with how they played Civ Five. They play it the same way over and over again. And we knew that that was going to be a key ingredient to Civ Six. is if we could shake up the gameplay so that you're going to be exposed to a lot of different situations and all those parts of the technology tree, for instance, would be important in the right circumstances, that was going to make for a better game. And so that was one of the key uh, takeaways from Civ Five. So we're coming up on the 25th anniversary this year for the Civilization games. What do you think it is about these games that keep them so popular over time? I think there are a couple things. One is in terms of being a game. It's a great game and uh, we always talk about the one more turn feeling. It's um, a very uh, great um, game where you could be hours and hours into it but you are anticipating something unlocking very, very soon, and you can't wait to see how the game unfolds after that unlocks. And so Sid Meier built that into the very first civilization. Um, Sid's still very active as our creative director at Firaxis, and he makes sure that we follow some of those uh, kind of one more turn sensibilities about designing our games. The other thing that I think civilization does in a really, really good way is reflect on the diversity of the world and all the cultures that are in the world. And I love to see what's going on with the Civ 5 community. The Civ 5 modding community has been amazingly active and just the number of different civilizations and like sub civilizations and tribes and nations that were only around for a few hundred years that you can go out and find a mod uh, somewhere in Steam Workshop for Civ 5 and just play as the Inuit for your game. You know, that, that's really exciting. That's a lot of fun. And when will Civilization 6 be released? 
It's going to be released October 21st this year. We can't wait to get it into everyone's hands.